Good morning, everyone. This is Tyler Creek right back for another exciting day here on the Ark Survival Evolved, the Lost Island map. This is day number 78 of our little adventure here, and well, we haven't recorded any in the last seven days because we have been building our base up. We are making some big additions onto the back side of this thing. We're building all this in right here. We're going to enclose it in greenhouse glass. We've got our fabricator put up. And we're going to build this all the way around and plan on building it all the way down and making a walkway down to that walkway right there so we can just walk around and then walk along the wall. But we haven't got that far yet on this side. The other side is going to be identical to this, but we've got more of it done already. We also redone our our preserving bins here and line them up a little bit better and move them down a little bit. We got our grill going. We've got a bunch of meat in that right now. About halfway done on the meat. We've got this part over here for the greenhouse. We want to put us a an industrial cooker right here. So we've got us already got water spouts and stuff all through the floors here. So we should be able to just set our industrial cooker right in there once we get it made. We're growing our crops around through here. This is something I've never grown before. This is a plant species Y seed, so I don't know what to expect with this. So I went ahead and planted it because I had a seed. But we've got like two of everything here. Two, two savo roots, two citronol, two long grass, and two carrots all down through here. And then we've got that on top of that. And we've got room to put lots more if we decide to. But this is how we're going to do the other side. We're going to wrap it all the way around over to here. We was going to make a walkway straight down to the to that walkway down there on the wall, but we couldn't really do it right here. It wouldn't let us. But we figured out a way around it. We come over here to the side and came down like this and got to it anyway. Not exactly how I wanted, but it works fine. I can go into this tire over here now. I can go up to the top if I want to. But I had to stick another pillar in right there in order to make this work. And I had to run the pillars all the way down. As you can see, all the way down to the ground down there. So all this is put up on pillars. So it's looking pretty good. I've got a few little problems here, like my walls will not go no further right there on that. So we're going to have a little spot right here where there ain't no ceilings at. But I figured we'd put up uh, a generator on this side and put the electrical fridges all down through here and then we've still got a big huge space over here to do with whatever we want to so we've got room for chemistry bench we'll probably put a chemistry bench on this side also and and then we've got room for other stuff too there's a purple drop over there I guess I want to go get that real quick but I've got a few more things I want to show you here just as soon as I get this purple drop and get back We have discovered a place where you can get rare flowers and tons of them. And it's really close and I didn't know about it until I was building that thing around my building there and I stumbled up on them. But I'm going to show everybody where that is. Grab this purple drop real quick. I keep getting distracted by drops. I have got a lot to do today. Got a slightly better pack, but I haven't even been using packs. I've been using a sword this playthrough. But I'm going to do a fly over my base and show you how it's going to look once it gets done, give you a better view of it. And we're probably going to head over to the volcano area today. I about cleaned out all the rock and wood of this area a couple of times, but it comes back pretty quick, so that's a good thing. But here's how this is going to look from above. I'm wrapping these greenhouses all the way around the around these two towers. I was wanting to put sloped glass in the front, but I couldn't figure out no way of matching it up. But that's the way it's going to look right there. It's going to have greenhouse glass on both sides. I think it'll look pretty good. Like I said, I really didn't plan on my steps going quite the way they did right there, but that's the only way I can get it to work. And I do
do plan to do the same thing on the other side. And there's my water pipe. It goes all over the place. Finally got it into the water, though. Right there. And like I said, I'm going to do the other side exactly the same. So it'll look, so it'll look symmetrical anyway. Or pretty close to symmetrical. Oh yeah, I was going to say I found rare flowers. I came over here while I was flying around putting those pillars in. And I seen a little garden over here. And you can see right here is a little garden with purple flowers in it. And if you pick them, it's all rare flowers. Right there is 18 rare flowers for just picking one of these. And I mean, there's just probably 50 of them in here. So this is all the rare flowers you'd ever need right here. In this little garden down here in this village down below the below the courtyard of the below the courtyard of the fortress here. I was going to tame a dire bear that I had led down in here, but I've gotten down here and not been able to find him again. He has apparently wandered off or despawned or something. But I'm going to take a look around real quick, see if I can spot him again. Because it was a 145 female dire bear. So I don't think nothing would have killed it. But I really did have plans on taming the thing, but I uh, haven't been able to find it. Haven't looked real good, but I looked around a couple of days ago and it was, seemed to be gone. Probably could do something with this building right here. It is pretty large. You could probably put a nursery or something in this. But I haven't gotten that far planned that yet. But here's what my building is looking like from the front. Not too bad, I don't think. But I just remembered something I need if I'm going to the volcano area. I need a ghillie chest piece that I've got down here. Because it gets really hot up there. I've got to find polymer and oil today. If I wear this one piece of ghillie chest armor here, it keeps me from overheating, so I'm going to put that on. I've got a saddle in the inventory. I need to dump that off because it's kind of heavy. And a pack. I've got a weapons chest here somewhere. And I'm going to change out my armor and put my regular back in that little box right there. And I think we need to go get some oil and some, some polymer up at the volcano area. I'm making that uh, industrial cooker. And right here it is in the fabricator. It requires 450 cement paste, 1800 metal, 300 oil and 300 polymer. And I've got everything except the oil and the polymer. So I need about 225 oil and 300 polymer. So that's why we're going to go up to the volcano today to get the materials for that industrial cooker. If we get enough and get back time, we might set the cooker up today. I don't know if we'll make it or not, but it's not too far to the volcano area. It's just right up here. So we might be able to get our stuff and get back and set up a cooker today. I would really like to get that started. I'm going to go ahead and grab this purple drop while we're out. And I've, like I said, I've spent the last seven days building, so I haven't recorded nothing because that stuff I done on that greenhouse and around the fortress up there took a long time for me to do. A lot longer than I'd have liked. Putting those pillars in were, was really slow. And I haven't got it done because I ran out of cement and paste to make greenhouse glass with. I need more cement and paste for greenhouse get, glass. So that's why I don't have more of the greenhouse closed in than I do. A patchy rhinosaurus saddle blueprint of Apprentice one, I think it was. But let's get up to the volcano area. See if we can find a bunch of oil and a bunch of polymer. 
Like I said, we need at least 250 oil and about 300 polymer. Which is going to require me killing a bunch of mantises, I think. I'm hoping to find an oil vein up here somewhere so I can set me up an oil well. Because I am struggling for oil right now and I need oil to make gasoline for generators and fabricators and cooking things. Industrial grill and industrial cooker both require gasoline to run. So I need lots of oil. I know there's oil veins in the desert, but it is a long ways to the desert from here. So it'd be nice if I could find some over here somewhere. Stego, that is a little bit of oil and stuff. If it's low level, I guess I should go ahead and harvest it. 120. No, we better leave that alone. Main goal is just to find a lot of oil and a lot of polymer today as quickly as possible and maybe even like I said maybe if we can find a oil vein somewhere that would be great also my stamina is gone I'm going to have to start paying attention better quite a colorful gallimimus it's very low level though is that a Fomomia? I seen a wyvern over here the other day, so we got to be a little bit careful if we get around the wyvern trench up here. Because they are outside of the trench, they're not all in it. right over there's where it's at. Yep, there's a wyvern. We can't lure a wyvern to us. We'll be dead quickly. Looking for oil and polymer. I think the polymer would be quite easy to get. It's just the oil is going to be kind of hard to find. There's oil rocks down here though, near, the, near this bubbling black goo that looks like oil, but I think it's just really water, polluted water. Get down here and get some of it, and then we'll start hunting for mantises. There's an allosaur. I'm not really hunting today. What is that? Just a rock. I actually thought that was something. Allosaur, what level are you? I could use a little bit of meat, I guess. Level 8, yep. Guess you're going to be a snack. I don't know why it didn't pick this up. It should have, though. Why you didn't pick that up, Sonny? That'd make me get off the saddle here in this dangerous place. Now we're burning up. I thought that ghillie would keep me cool. It did before. Okay, we're looking for oil veins. And or oil rocks. We know where oil rocks are down here, so we can get those. There should be some veins down here for sure. So black, they're probably just right in front of me and I can't spot them. Okay, those are old rocks and there's the bubbling goo. It looks like oil. There's magma sores. They ain't gonna come for me from this distance, are they? That's 40 oil, so it won't take much of this to do it. Those 
dinosaurs are getting awful close, though. I wonder if any of these rocks have oil in them. I kind of doubt it. Nope, got metal a little bit. Okay, Magmasaur, where are you at? I seen you a minute ago there. I'm a bit worried about them. Let's keep hunting for oil rocks. There is lots of them around. It's just I'm worried about what's going to hit me when I get off here. If I get 40 for each one of these, I'll need about five or six of them to get my stuff. I'm just wondering, this just... Seems like it is old. Does it hurt me to get into it? it? Does not. Can I harvest it anyway? Oh, put my cinema crops, didn't I? Where'd it go? Cinema crops, I didn't throw you in the hole, did I? Still on my back, so what happened there? Look like I throwed him. Pretty sure these little pointy rocks are old rocks too, so we're going to just go ahead and harvest some of these. They sound funny. They make a little ting sound when you pick them. I got 47 oil. I wonder about this big up here. Nope, that is just for looks. Got 133 oil already, so we'll be done with oil farming here in a minute or two, but I would really like to find a vein somewhere. What is this rock? This looks weird as can be right there. Maybe I'll have a vein under it. Nope, nothing under it. Those aren't farmable. <laughs> Nothing coming for us, are they? Sunny. Guess I might as well load up on as much Oil as I can get while I'm over here because I do need it for gasoline also. We've already got enough for our industrial industrial cooker. Right there's another one. a few more of these and then we're going to have to get on with the get on with the polymer collecting curious. wonder if there's just oil veins down in that black goo. If I had an oil rig on me, I could test that theory, but I don't have one with me. And I am burning up here, ain't I?
also a big fireball come flying at me here in a minute. So I gotta watch out for that. There's a red drop over there. This may be a little risky. I think I'm going to go for that red drop. I've got a lot of oil now. Actually, I'm pretty heavy. I want to look around right here, but these stupid magma swords will throw fireballs at me if I ain't careful. I'm just sure they must be... Must be oil veins up here somewhere. What do we got fighting there? Magnosaurin. And one of those... Magnosaur 1. But it's still fighting something else. There's one of those spiky things coming for me. Let's leave because they get those spikes at you. You would think for sure there'd be some oil veins up in here somewhere, and I still have not spotted a single one. And I want to try to get this red drop, but it's going to be... What is that? That ain't a lastro down in there, is it? Dude, you are in a bad place. Let's take a shot at getting this. that good. We got to find some mantises now. We need 300 polymer. Thorny dragon. Oh, I am getting, needing water here. Some terrible lag too. I may have a hard time finding the polymer after all. I thought that would be the easy part. Wow, there's a basculus. What level are you? Four. Got me. Pretty, but she ain't very good. I've never tamed one of those. Still burning up. Where did I see the mantises at up here? I definitely seen some. I killed some and got a whole bunch of polymer one day I was up here. And I also got a dung beetle up here. There's one. Jumped right at me. Five. Yeah, 40, 43 polymer. I need 300. That will give me 38 polymer. I need a lot more. I wonder if the centipedes give you polymer. I don't know. That's how much I got really quick here. Got a 81 polymer, so now the centipedes must not give me polymer. Nope, no polymer for centipedes. I need to find more mantises then. Need to cool off a little bit.
pretty Yankees. And no Dickerses. It is raining. At least that cooled me down a little bit. Thorny Dragon. Where are the Mantises at? spoils pretty quickly so I need to find the mantises and get back with it. There's some bugs. But it's jug bugs, isn't it? Thorny dragon fighting a dodicris and a magmasaur. Nallow hanging out together. Come on, game, quit freezing on me. Where are the mantises? Hey, Carno, snuck up on me, didn't you? Definitely having a harder time finding mantises than I thought we would. Lots of crystal metal up here in this little lava flow. Very choppy. There's another red supply drop. We're going for it instead of looking for mantises, even though we need the mantises really bad. Maybe we'll spot some through here somewhere. Yeah, I see you, Massless. Still want to get me, huh? I need to land. Okay, we've got... Well, there's a mantis fighting one of those things. And the basilisk is running around. get the red drop first and then we'll come back and see if we can steal that mantis out from under that thing. Davis saddle out of that. It's not great, but it's better than the one I've got. Yep, we've got a slightly better Argentavis saddle. That's great. Let's get up here and see if we can get that mantis we've seen with a basilisk and a. Can't even remember what the call is, one thing is. See something off this side of me, but I can tell what it was. Okay, 
There's the basilisk. Basilisk is a 44. Let's just get rid of it. I think is what you call those things. I wonder if that is a bag with polymer in it. That's one reason I was trying to kill that. Nope, that is an Amargosaurus. What is that over there? Something dead. You guys can get over it because I'm leaving. I was going to try to kill the Basilisk, but it didn't seem to be damaging it as quickly as I was hoping. Take that. Keep looking for mantises. So let's leave him alone. That's that colorful one that's real low level. I won't mess with it. Well, we're not having any luck on the mantises. And all our organic polymers going to spoil if we don't find it pretty quick. Land and check, check my stuff, see what I've got. Okay. Tons of kite and stuff. I'm not going to hatch it, I'm just going to go ahead and drop those because that's just extra weight. Actually, our, our polymer has not spoiled yet. I'm surprised. None of it is spoiled yet. So right here's where I found those first two at. And these dodicruses are balled up, so something must be attacking them. Yep, I thought so. More polymer. This must be a really good one. 150, that figures, doesn't it? 150 and a 50. I got 90 more polymer. Hate to kill a 150, because I would have really liked to tame a 150. What is that? Is that a spider? A narno? That is a Christmas Arno. Pretty sure you don't get polymer from those, and there's another centipede. And you don't get polymer from those, and there's a really colorful one. There's a mantis. Can't pick them up, can you? Nope. And another dung beetle. Another 150. Wow, that just stinks. Levels of dung beetle. Twenty-five. Oh, I need more mantises. There's another dung beetle. Forty-five. I think the one I tamed was only about a twenty or something, but it's doing all right. 
Scorpion. Got to be more mantises around. We still don't have enough. This looks like the place where we ought to be able to find them. Oh, there's a wyvern. Get away from that. Well, if I accidentally run into a wyvern, it's going to kill me. There'll be no way I can battle a wyvern. I don't know, though. If it's real low level, I might be able to take one out. I've seen a scorpion go up through here. What's the odds of being a mantis up in here, too? None. Okay, spot me some mantises. Check my polymer. How much did I get so far? I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 219, and I need at least 300. So I'm pretty close. Need a few more, though. Those are magma sore things, and my mouth looks sore. I don't know how to deal with them. What is this? That is egg, ain't it? Stego egg. I'm not going to be risky enough to pick it up. There's a magma sword right on top of me. It's one of that didn't hit me. Get away from that and see if we can't find us some more mantises. I'm getting to explore the lava area pretty good today, even though I'm not finding what I'm looking for. be a mantis. What is that? Just grass sticking up? Yep, just grass sticking up. Thought something was moving over there. What is that? Argentavises, maybe? Lots of them. Really colorful ones. Level 20. Oh. 
It is 1900 hours already. We haven't got our stuff for our cooker. So we're probably not going to get it done today. It's about quitting time already, I think, on the game. Let's see if we can't get those last few the mantis is found before we quit. What is that? Is that the magma sore down there? What am I seeing? Something stuck inside the rock. That is a level 48 magma sore stuck inside of a rock. Jug bugs everywhere, so you'd think there'd be some more insects. It's getting really late. I think I'm going to go ahead and end the video off and just try to hunt for these mantises during the night. And we'll have to put up our industrial cooker tomorrow. But anyway, if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. And thanks again for watching. This is Ty Creek Rock and Sunny, the fearsome Argentavis. Signing out.